All right, so let's start with uh, creating a new Python 3 notebook, which I have already created, and uh, it will be opened in a new tab. So you can just rename this as um, pandas or Python or something. Now we will import pandas first of all in Python. So how do you import this? Simply just write import pandas as pd now this is a convention pd it has been used by the python community so we use pd you can import it by different name also if you want now next thing is how do you import a csv file import csv file in pandas or in python so for this what we do is you have to go to your initial directory where you're working where this file is already there right pandas you go to upload and wherever is your file location suppose my file is here in uh, the desktop you can see this penguins.size and this by default is .csv okay so what i do is i can just simply show you how this file look this is how it is it is a data set of um, different species of penguin found in antarctica and there are various dimensions of like the island, the column depth, flipper length and so on but this is hard to read in this so what we do is we will import it in the form of a table in pandas so I'll just close this I just wanted to copy this so just copy it because we will be using it now so what I'll do here is that I make a data frame I can call it anything it is an object I call data then I will use pandas pd dot read underscore csv this is the syntax and then i will paste the name of my file i write here penguins and in the string format run this by hitting shift and enter simultaneously on a keyboard right here data dot head this will show you the first five entries by default and you can see that now the data is in the form of a rows and tables that means just like as you will see it in excel this is uh, pandas will provide that functionality in python jupyter notebook with the help of this function okay read csv function so what what if if i suppose rename this file okay suppose i would like to rename this file i rename this file as penguins.cs underscore size okay now you run this file the file is not found so what you do is the file name has to be same so what i do is i will remove the csv and now you see it can be run so depend on the file name that has to be perfect match over here then only it will run otherwise it would not and by default we knew that this file was a csv file because it was separated by commas okay so this is how you import a csv file that is comma separated file with the help of pandas in python that's it for this video. Thank you.